Welcome in everybody. I'm a mess. I'm sorry. Probably I'm a little bit dirty. I just cleaned up my birds and my animals and I thought maybe you deserve to have a video of me because it's a long time. I know it's more than a month that I didn't post anything. Honestly, I didn't went very far away. I went to my friend's house, but it wasn't that interesting to make a video because uh, Dylan wasn't there and yeah. So probably tomorrow I will go somewhere with Dylan because it's my birthday tomorrow. And so I want to do something, yeah. Uh, because normally I always go for the weekend, but I couldn't go because my husband today is on a dart competition so i said yeah it's okay i can go also tomorrow which is mon uh, sunday until monday night or thursday morning i will see i don't really know where to go and yeah but i show you now a little bit what i have new here and the space that I have more in my car and it looks at least a little bit more cleaned up I mean not that mess inside my uh, living space so I show you come with me in here so I have this new bag here I had an, a black one a bigger one for the food because when I go and make some shopping I just take my bag with me very cool because as you can see it's quite small but I can do some so I can open here there is some space and then I just can open another zip here and I have a bigger bag as you can see and which is really really good okay. uh, you can see so i have more space on the top i have a lot of space here i have some side pockets as well so yeah it's very uh, cool and it matches with the colors you know i'm a little bit uh color mm. How can they? I don't like to have uh, a pink, a red, green, and yeah, mix it color. I don't like this. I prefer to have a line of colors, and that's it. This is the seat of Dylan, and I also took him um, a safety a safety uh, belt, so that if something happens he don't will go anywhere on this seat in switzerland over here we have um, a law that says that you need to have a cage for the dog when he's inside the van or a car but you know i prefer to bring him like that i'm sure he is safe because i took all the prevention to not have any problems if I have an accident. Then I made this with some crochet, <laughs> some decoration. I know for some of you, probably they, you think it's a little bit kitschy, but I like this stuff. So yeah, I made also a little bit homey in the front seats. So the new space that I um, find out in my car, as I post you, uh, was this space underneath this seat here. I have a seat here, I double seat. This is a, a bench and then I have my seat. Underneath my seat, I have my batteries. And under this seat, there is nothing at all. And I discovered that I can just open here and pull it and I have a plenty of space. <laughs> I already put some stuff in it that I don't use every day. 
uh, when I'm uh, traveling. So there is some um, stuff that I just use sometimes. And I know exactly what I have now inside here, which is comfy. Uh, the close up is not. Yeah, it's really comfortable to have this. So, what I also found on Timu is this bag here, which is I put some uh, emergency stuff inside if I cut myself or have some injuries. And I also have this fire. Um, so, over here, as you can see, I have my seat. And I have plenty of space here. So, I found these bags here that you can just put on your seat back. I found it right interesting because there are a, a, a lot of pockets in it. And on the other side, I have another one. It's not, it's not interesting to have all this stuff inside your van. I took also this garbage. It's comfortable. On, the only thing is that this cover is not really holding as it should, but it's very comfortable to have this. Then I show you other stuff that I took. So yeah, as you can see, I don't have any stuff around anymore because everything is behind my seat or underneath my seat. I also colored my gas stove because it was a little bit, it was a little bit in bad shape. So I thought, yeah, if I just color it like this color here, I had some left, some colors. So I was on my friend's house and she asked me, do you want to come with me and get some interesting to see some interesting stuff that people threw away so here in switzerland we have once a month people can throw throw um throw away stuff but before that uh especially in the german part of switzerland they put some table outside every table is um a different kind of uh, purpose stuff so like kitchen stuff or toys or some other stuff so you can put all your thing that you don't want to keep anymore you can put it on these tables and other people comes around and take this stuff with them again for it's uh, free so she asked me if i'm willing to go with her and see this Put some stuff there because she has some stuff to go left there and uh, looking for new stuff that maybe she can use and so yeah we went there and i found two interesting things the first one is this one here it is it is a hanging organizer with some pockets in it and then as you can see every pocket has his design what you have to put in by example my keys because i always looking for my keys inside my van and in here i just can put my keys here or my book or my glasses that i always uh lose in my van so yeah it is a very <laughs> useful thing for free then i bought also this one here this and there is another one. Then I have all these nice bags with all where I can put all my stuff in it. You know, I just want to have some clean situation, even if I have a lot of stuff inside here, but I still want to have clean, a clean situation. So that's why. I want that the stuff is matching with the color. It looks cleaner in some way. So I just use some uh, brown colors, different kind of shades, but anyways, always 
beige, brown, and black, so that it, there is, yeah, a situation. I don't know how I can explain you that. So we are ready to go, me and Dylan, and we're heading somewhere because the weather is not that good. It is really cloudy. It shouldn't rain today, so I just go for a walk with Dylan, and tonight we go for dinner, me and Dylan, for my birthday. So today is a special day here in Ascon. They have some uh, old timer car and some elephants here. <laughs> okay, Questo è bello, questo è il più bello di tutti. Mm -hmm. Mamma mia che bello! Dylan? Dylan? Eh, muori! C'è la sottina! So me and Dylan are sitting here on the lake after this chaotic uh, event there with a lot of people. I didn't record much, but there was too much people around. And then um, my sister said, eh, we are here as well if you want to meet. Uh, but I have to go home early because she has to make some dinner then early. Yeah, and then I counter her with her daughter. They wished me happy birthday. And then they began shopping. Went with them for a while, but then uh, I couldn't go inside the boutiques because of the deal and, and uh, waiting then it was a little bit too much. And he was bored. So I told them, uh, sorry, I go because far I enjoy my day. I have a great day with Dylan tonight, as I told you, I go for dinner in a place where I know there is some veggie menus as well and very good. So yeah, I will go there with Dylan for my birthday, birthday dinner, me and Dylan. So probably you ask <laughs> yourself why I don't go with my husband, uh, probably he forgot. He didn't told me nothing today. He didn't say happy birthday and he he didn't organized nothing at all. So yeah, I thought I make my day by myself. It's not something uh, that I really am angry of. It is a little bit, yeah, disappointing, but I know he he's, he is that way. He he couldn't remember that today is my birthday. No excuse, I know, but I know him. It is every year like that. The only w time I was really disappointed was when I was um, when I turned 50, because for me it was a little bit a special birthday, and he didn't really made nothing for me. No flowers. No. No, nothing. This was a little bit disappointing, yes, I have to say. I don't know why he has this behavior. I, I really don't know, because normally he's a nice person, but in this case, I don't know what exactly. I can't really explain, you know? I mean, sometimes I think uh, there is a phone. We have phones now. We have calendar inside. We can put... A, every meeting, everything that we have to remember and yeah, whatever. 
but I don't want to complain in this video. I just want to enjoy because I promised myself this morning I will enjoy my day, my birthday. And so, yeah, now probably we go back to my van and stay a little bit inside the van, chilling a bit. And I want to show you other, uh, another thing that I took on my friend's place when we went for this um, event where you can grab stuff for free and bring stuff that you don't use anymore. And this one is really cute and it is for dealing. So this is the bag that I found on this market where you can take for free stuff. And I put inside all the stuff for dealing his This is a, um, a tracker in case he runs away. And then, yeah, some other stuff here. This ball and this. And this is to carry him. I also took a bag for myself because I have bags for carry dealin, but I don't have a bag for me personally. So I took this one, which is cute, matches the color as well. I took this one for my van. It's quite big, and I ordered another one uh, on Timo. Uh, I was convinced it is good for my house, but it's so small that I thought maybe I change. I put this at home, and the other one I just take it for my van, so that uh, takes a little bit less space. This is the one. This is the new one that I bought. It's very, very small, but he has a power man. <laughs> And it's really good because I can just put it here and there is a filter as well and I can charge it with the USB so me and Dylan are in the van in front of my house because I have a little bit of mess here and then I explain you after why now I want to change this stuff here that I give to my husband because he has also an old camper van that we have to um, rebuild. I mean, yeah, there is some investment to do and we have not the money now, but we will for sure do some renovation there because he want to use it when he goes to the uh, to the dart uh, uh, championships that he has somewhere to sleep so I will give all my stuff that I have in here and I have some new ones and a little bit less because I have too much stuff um, as usual <laughs> but indeed I have one two three four many cups but I'm alone so yeah what is the sense? So I took a new one, gold, looks better in here. And I show you what I also took. This is also something really handsome. I, I found this so cute. This is a egg uh, uh, holder, but it's so cute, isn't it? <laughs> so I took this as well. And yeah. I have this, this one here, I found this so cute in gold. So I have some plates as well, 
and some more cups stuff like that i take away everything from my van i try to s to make you understand what i'm doing here so this is a separation from the front seat to the back and the top is like a window and in the bottom there is some insulation because over here in this part here it comes in a lot of cold especially in the winter so that i can a little bit insulate better and yeah i have to say it like that because what i have to do is i have to put this on here all around and probably here so that i can just then stick the velcro on this whole thing so yeah i need now to work on it i don't know if i'm able to film it <laughs> because it's a little bit small and uh, a part is done uh, it was a little bit too long so as you can see here the angle is not perfect but in the middle and I have to stick now these ones here in the corner but this corner here is perfect sealed up yeah I really I'm curious if this helps to keep out the heat or the cold Voila, this is the final result. I am really surprised that I made a really good job here. <laughs> Everything is holding and also the zip is in the middle so I can go from the back to the front seat very easily. Yeah, good job today. Now I want to order, I already ordered a new curtain that is a little bit thicker than the other one so that here I really have a protection and the cold doesn't come from the front seat to my bed because in the nighttime, I remember in the winter, I feel the cold coming in, but like this, it should be a little bit better. Yeah, I'm satisfied about this solution because in the beginning, I want to just put um, a wall a boot wall or something like that but this solution is not too bad so the light comes in anyways sometimes i feel like a prepper i organize my van like i should survive tomorrow in this van <laughs> but you know it's something that i like to do uh, I, I guess it's like a hobby and in timu where i buy all this stuff I have really good deals sometimes. Uh, I had some stuff that I bought for 90% off and it was really cheap and really good quality. I have to say, I have to admit that it is good quality. Uh, next that I will change is this mirror here because this mirror is nice, but um, you know, when I'm while driving, it's always like this noise here and yeah it's not really a good solution so i bought an, an one that is really cute i hope i have the place to put it in here because i think it's a little bit big so in the picture it looks like big but it's really cute i will show you when i will uh have this new mirror and yeah, I guess I have really a lot of stuff now that I uh, changed. It's not that I put new stuff in it. No, it's I just change and organize better my van because I know I have a lot of stuff in it. I know that some people wrote me in the comments that they could never live in my van because it's too much stuff in it and it's a mess but i don't feel it's like a mess it's just yeah it's okay i have a lot of stuff but everything is in his place 
so I don't feel that it's in some way uh, I don't feel I have um, a mess in here So Dylan loves to stay in the van, even if we are parked in front of the house, of my house, and the same I do. I mean, I love to stay in here, organized, doing stuff, and just lay down and just relax. I love my energy inside here. And yeah, that's all that I have for this video. I don't know when I will able to make another video, I know that I go to, in October, I will go to my friend's house again. I will take Dylan this time with me. I don't know if I record something because, yeah, I don't know. It's not, I didn't plan anything really. Maybe I go with Dylan tomorrow somewhere, but I'm not sure. So I don't want to promise anything because then it pissed me off when I, I'm not doing anything or not making videos and then I just promise something that I can't hold. So yeah, I thank you so much that you still are there and watching my videos because I know I'm uh, not that regular uh, YouTuber that put out video all week or every uh, Monday or whatever. I have not this uh, capacity to make this maybe in the future when I'm not working uh, or when I'm living in the van but right now I can't do this so yeah that's all for me I wish you all the best out there wherever you are stay strong stay nice to everyone and yeah we can just hope that the world will be a better place in the future. See you. Bye.